Hey, this is Uncle Josh, and we're back on Uncle Josh Gaming. Um, we're gonna get back into some more Tabletop Simulator. Um, the reason I'm doing this video is I wanna kinda do a little follow-up on, um, oh, what do you call it? The Cyberpunk table created by The Sharp. So, I'm going to show off how you would go about adding tokens. So, we could do this a few different ways. We could do it right from the table itself. So, we'll delete my little auto save that I've got going. I have a, a little work table that I've built. It's fairly easy to do, so I'll show how to do things outside of the work table. So I've already made uh, Netrunner tokens. Uh, oh, I'm going to have to look up the source. I can't really show the cards, but yeah, there are Netrunner cards out there. Um, I forget what his name is. Tim... Cherzinski? I believe he did them. Now, there was some back and forth of, uh, like, legalities and copyrights and whatnot. So, one minute it was, you can't use it. The next, it's, you can use it for personal use. Then it was, you know, give and take. Here you go. No, you can't use it. Yes, you can, but give credit. Oh, no, you can't use it. So, yeah, ultimately, I'll give a, a description and I'll put a, um, a link to his art. Uh, you can check that out on your own. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a resource from the Writer's Cthulhu since they have no issues with me using their content as long as I give them proper credit, which I always do. So, in order to do that, we're going to start with Components, and we're going to go custom, and then we're going to add a token. Okay, so you'd place it down with your left click, then you would right click. Now, on my second monitor, I have a link to an image that I want to use. Um, the thickness, this is like it'll adjust your thickness, uh, the merge distance, how accurate it will trace your image. Lower equals more accurate and expensive, higher is less accurate. So it's kind of set at the midway point. So this, I don't really like the thickness, so I'm going to put it down to about 0 0.10. And then I'm going to import. And then we're going to Put the, the item down, I'll flip it over, there, and that's how you add in a custom image and make a custom token. So now there's a trauma team card available. Um, if people want that available. Um, you can do it yourself easily. I'll, I'll post the link, uh, uh, to the Writer's Cthulhu page. Uh, so the other thing I wanted to show off was, okay, well, how would you go about getting that into your, uh, tabletop game? So for that, we're just gonna, we're gonna load up the Sharps, uh, Cyberpunk Red Table. All right, so here we are. We're in the Sharps Cyberpunk Red Table. I'm going to change myself over to the Game Master. Actually, I want to... Oh, there's note cards buried in there. I didn't notice that before. Okay, so that's cool. All right, so now I want to add in that item. 
that I just made. How do I go about doing that? Well, we just go to objects and click saved objects. And I'll scroll down, find the uh, item. You can either click and drag or spawn. I'll click and drag just to make it easier. Then you can use your Q and E keys while holding in the left mouse button and you can rotate it press F you can flip it R of course raises it up so you can kind of drop it down now if you wanted to take this to the next level you see there's a field here and it says card holder what you would do for that is you would take the actual image or the PSD file, open it in GIMP or Photoshop, and then you can edit in a character name. So you can give the, the trauma team card a bit of a personal touch for your characters in, in your campaigns, which is kind of nice. So you could probably use this for anyone who has a trauma team membership or subscri subscription. So that's kind of a, a neat little extra to add in. Now you can change the size of this too, of course. Um, like there's scaling options. Um, I could scale it up or down. So I can make it a little bit smaller. Now, does it have a lock? Yeah, I could lock it. And then I have it locked in place. So that's a, kind of a neat little extra that you can do. You can add in different tokens. So if you're not completely satisfied with what the Sharp has, you can add in more stuff on your own. Same goes with maps and whatnot. So, yeah, that's just a, a quick little update I wanted to show off. Um, hopefully this will be a good resource for game masters and players alike. So I'd like to thank everybody for joining me for another installment of how to get around the sharp cyberpunk table and how do you customize it and add some things. I'm hoping, uh, fairly soon we'll do the one world one. I just want to, you know, give little, little tips and tricks to heighten the experience a little bit. Sorry I can't make the controls magically easier, but, I mean, that's why you've got Uncle Josh doing the legwork. So thank you very much for joining me. Keep your stick on the ice, don't pull your goalie. I'm out.